Sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker, Candy Galore is a little bit sluggish out the gate, one of the trailers early on. Effortless Award is very quick, so is Be Happy. Wild in Love is pacing it with him, and Petra has also got a good position shortly after the start, and Wiz of Odds is also amongst the leading group in the center of the track. On the right is Township Melody. They are followed by Talia Gul Candy Galore, then comes Cause and Effect La Bellas towards the inside. Just outside the 400 meter and effortless award, Wiz of Oz is still right there. Queen of Alamos trying to get into the race, Wild in Love, and then comes Petra La Bella. And behind that one is Township Melody. Wiz of Oz now coming on there to effortless award, and behind that is Be Happy. Wild in Love is running on from behind. Wiz of Oz now an effortless award over the last hundred. Queen of Alamos running on from behind. Wiz of Oz the leader though, and won it. Wiz of Oz won it. Second, Queen of Alamos close for third B app is involved with Petra. Number six, Wiz of Odds, the Crusade comes home well. The Crusade wins it and remains undefeated over the thousand. Had one barrier trial and comes Goodyear to win it and win it well by a length and a quarter. Second, number seven, Queen of Alamo. Third position is close. Let's run it across. Third will be Be Happy, number 12. And on the inside of that one is Petra. The tote favorite was number 10, Candy Galore. Further back in the run is Township Melody. And on the left-hand side, it's Effortless Reward. But the winner, Wiz of Arts, comes Goodyear. And they win it well, this one. And for Missing You Syndicate and Rob Knoop. And they win it. And number six pays up at 470. Until the running of the seventh race, back to the studio. Well, you can see the body language of Warren Kennedy says it all. Wiz of Odds is her name, and she looks very, very smart to this stage of the game. She's two from two and three from three, if you include the barrier trial. Now, taking on this type of field, she's made it look very easy. Yeah, Sheldon, as you alluded to in your pre-race comments, if she could win this, she was very special. You know, I was um, happy to run in the first three. It would have been a good run you know, against like seven time winners like Everest's Award and some others that are hard knockers here. And so, um, but um, yeah, I, I must be honest, I, I, was, I was pretty impressed with that. You've got horses like a bull and those type of horses and now you've got this sprinter. So lovely to have these animals to work with in the mornings. Oh yes, you know, Dancing Feather, you know, it wasn't right last time. The filly that beat her, um, uh, what was her name? Uh, down, down to earth, down to earth that Jackson filly, very, very nice, Gabor, fantastic, you know, and this filly, some, some, some nice fillies coming through, and um, yeah, some nice, unfortunately we had to scratch one today, he bruised his foot, but uh, he's also a smart horse, but uh, well done to Rob Knapper and Jonathan, uh, the two partners, um, they bought the half-brother by Global View at this uh, last sale, and he's a smashing horse. So um, I think they've got something to look forward to between this and now the brother coming up. But, but I think this filly is going to give them a lot of fun. First time on the turf, and that was also very impressive. Yes, um, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to see that she's versatile and she can run on both surfaces. Uh, she's got speed. She's, she's beautifully, beautifully made, lovely action, and just a, a pleasure to train. And well done to Open Sea and Timber and Timberlaku and all my staff back home. They keep the fort uh, rolling while I'm away and do a fantastic job and to our stable jockey Warren uh, we couldn't thank him enough you know he's um, you know he's really he's, 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 he's taken the long ride with us now it's been three years together and it's just getting better and better and he's still thank goodness he's still loyal to me <laughs> normally it's the trainers that fire the jockeys and I'm worried that he's gonna fire me <laughs> we'll keep up the hard work <laughs> thanks very much and once again well done to Rob and to Jonathan and uh, let's hope there's many more to come Super. thank you very much now, Warren Kennedy, when you came past the winning post, your emotions basically said it all. Yeah, look, I was, I was really impressed. You know, we, we did fancy her to win her maiden, and she won it quite well. I thought the step up here to, the, to Metro at Nancy was going to be tough with his hard-knocking filly. He's got effortless reward. She's really quick. You know, my filly's quick, yes, but maiden quick. You know, I, I haven't tested her against stronger horses. We don't really know. So I always thought she'd be better on the grass, yes, but... She, she impressed me today. She really did. She jumped out with a hell of a lot of speed. I was pacing it with effortless award, and she was doing it quite comfortably. And 
I knew when I pressed the button there was something left in the tank. So, you know, it was a really good win for me. She really did impress me today. Now, her runs have all been over a thousand. What do you think her best trip, the 1200 she'll get? Look, I think in a bit of time she'll, she'll get the 1200. At the moment, she's, she's doing things a bit hard early. You know, she's got a lot of good speed, but she's not, she's not a filly that wants to overdo it sort of thing. So I think that the six will be within reach. I mean, a race like um, the Ellen Robertson coming up in about five months or so, that could be the right race to aim at. You know, she, she could be, have settled down nicely by then and, and see the six furlong out. She, she won to the line. She didn't stop today, so there's no reason why she can't do it. And, um, yeah, just big thanks to Gav, to Mr. Knapp, to everyone involved. All the stable at home, you know, it's been a long trek of them. It's been four years with Gavin, he, not three years. Not three years. Yeah, I know, he lost a year I know, somewhere. I know, I know I make him feel younger every time he sees me, but yeah. But, you know, I don't forget where I come from and, and who's helped me to get where I am today. And he's definitely been a big part of that. And I can't thank him enough. Well done. Thank you. Well, Wiz of Odds is a three-year-old, so we'll look at the program there. The Alan Robertson, I think, is for the two-year-old, so we'll keep an eye on the program there. But Andrew Harrison's joining us to hand over the 1,000 Rand token. Hope I got that one right. That's one of the toughest names on the card today. The winning groom, 1,000 Rand token. Thanks to Andrew Harrison.